Today, we would like to discuss very unique, very interesting topic. When we practice an immigration law, just like any area of law, we have to follow presumption of innocence, right? You innocent until proven guilty. In immigration law, more and more we observe situation when it looks like immigration ministry itself applying presumption of guilt. Why is that? The role of immigration is not to invite people and help them. Think about it. Their role is to restrict influx of immigrants to any country. That's why borders exist, right? That's why selection system exists. That's why all this criteria exist. If you think about it seriously, the role of proper immigration council is absolutely critical because we need to understand how it works before we proceed with your case. So, how it works? Why is presumption of guilt and we call it that way? Well, because immigration has a checklist and they're just looking for a reason on that checklist or on your background or anywhere in your story to reject you. You're guilty until you prove yourself to be innocent. This is a very unique concept. If you have some questions, ask us or the consultation if you're unclear or if you have something to say please comment below definitely subscribe to our channel definitely go with a referral to anyone you can you think can benefit from this uh, video and share and like and stay safe